in this section we're going to be looking at measuring segments so let's start off by looking at a segment here we have line a b and we want to look at the distance between points a and b in order to do this we have to take the absolute value of the difference of their coordinates so basically we can do absolute value of a minus b this this value would be a b or the length of a b which is a b with a line over it now we're going to look at an example of measuring segment lengths here we have a number line going from 0 to 16 Our number line is going by twos, and on our number line we have the points T, U, and V. We have point T at 8, we have point U at 10, and we have point V at 14. What we want to do is we want to find out what is U, V. U, v and in order to do this we have to use the coordinate numbers of each letter so we have uv equals absolute value u minus v so we can plug in the number values now so uv equals absolute value 10 minus 14 and when we go ahead and simplify this we would get absolute value of negative 4 and the absolute value of negative 4 would leave us with a positive 4. So the distance uv is 4. Now we're going to look at another postulate. Here we have segment addition postulate. If three points a, b, and c are collinear, which means they're all on the same line, and b is between a and c, then ab plus bc equals ac. So let's break this down a little bit. We have a colon we have three collinear points a, b, and c and point B is in between A and C. So the distance from A to B when added with the distance from B to C is going to give us the combined distance of A to C. Now we're going to look at an example of using the segment addition postulate. The information we're given is that EG equals 59 and we have to solve for EF and FG. We're also given a number line containing points E, F, and G with F in the middle. And we know that EF is 8x minus 14 and FG is 4x plus 1. So based on the segment addition postulate, we know that EF plus FG equals EG. So we can go ahead and plug in the values that they've given us for it. So EF would be 8X minus 14 plus FG, which is 4X plus 1, equals EG, which is 59. This is all information that they've given us in the problem. Now we want to go ahead and solve for x, so let's start by simplifying the left side. 8x and 4x are like terms, so we can combine them to get 12x. Negative 14 plus 1 would give us negative 13 equals 59. Now we want to isolate 12x, so in order to do that we have to add 13 to both sides in order to get rid of negative 13. So that would leave us with 12x equals 59 plus 13, which is 72. And now in order to get rid of the 12, we would have to divide both sides by 12. When we divide the left side by 12, we're left with 1x equals 72 divided by 12, which equals 6. So x equals 6. Now that we know what x equals, we can plug it back into each individual equation at the top. So let's start with the EF. So EF equals 8x minus 14. So let's plug in 6 for the x. So we have 8 times 6 minus 14, which would be simplified to 48 minus 14 which would be simplified down to 34 so we know that EF equals 34 
Now we have to do the same thing for fg. fg equals 4x plus 1. So we want to plug in 6 for the x. So it would be 4 times 6 plus 1. And then we, if we simplify, we get 24 plus 1. And then when we simplify further, we get fg equals 25. Now we're going to look at congruent segments. The symbol we used looks like this. When numerical expressions have the same value, you say that they are equal. If two segments have the same length, then the segments are congruent segments. Here we're going to look at an example of this. We see that we have AB equals CD. So that means that they have the same length and are equal. And because they have the same length and are equal, AB and CD are congruent segments. Because AB equals CD, AB is congruent to CD. And you can also say it the opposite way. Because AB is congruent to CD, then AB equals CD. Now we're going to look at the midpoint of a segment. The midpoint of a segment is a point that divides the segment in, into two congruent segments. A point, line, ray, or other segment that intersects a segment at its midpoint is said to bisect the segment. That point, line, or ray, or segment is called a segment bisector. So let's look at an example of this. We have line A, C, and it contains the midpoint B. Line L intersects line AC at its midpoint. So line L is the segment bisector of AC. A segment bisector bisects or divides a line at its middle point. And B is the midpoint of AC. And we can tell that B is the midpoint because the two lines on both sides next to the A and C shows that both halves are congruent which means that B is the middle. Now we're going to look at an example that requires us to use midpoint. The question is, Q is the midpoint of PR. What are PQ, PQ QR, and PR? So we, we're also given the line PQR. PQ is 6x minus 7, and QR is 5x plus 1. We know that Q is the midpoint of line PR. So, we can say that PQ equals QR. Because PQ equals QR, we can plug in the values they've given us. So, PQ equals 6x minus 7 equals QR, which is 5x plus 1. Now, we want to go ahead and try to isolate the x. So, let's start by subtracting 5x from both sides. When we subtract 5x from the right side, the 5x cancel away. When we subtract 5x on the left, we're left with x minus 7 equals positive 1. Now we want to go ahead and add 7 to each side. When we add 7 to the left, we have to add 7 to the right. That leaves us with x equals 8. Now that we know what x equals, we can go ahead and plug that value back into the top equations. So pq equals 6x minus 7. So we want to plug in 8 for the x in that equation. So we get 6 times 8 minus 7. And when we go ahead and simplify this, we get 48 minus 7, which leaves us with 41. So PQ equals 41. Now we want to solve for QR. Again, we want to just plug in our x value, which is 8, into the x in that equation. So we have 5 times 8 plus 1. And that simplifies to 40 plus 1, which equals 41. So we know that PQ equals 41 and QR equals 41. So in order to find PR, we can use the segment addition postulate. PR equals PQ plus QR which is 41 plus 41, so PR equals 82.